Hey guys, it is I, Art by Kingsley, and today I decided to review the Magic Paint posters and the My Little Pony scent. And it's basically just a coloring sheet with some little things that are supposed to be painted on the bottom. Um, if you use water with them, of course, but the paper is very thin. This came with 12 designs, by the way, but it only comes with 12 sheets, so like, you don't get any doubles. And it does bleed through the paper. It, it, it honestly reminded me, the paper itself reminded me of printer paper. Because of how it acted with the paint, it, um, as you'll see later on, it just, you know, it ends up very, the paper ends up very wavy and messed up. Anyway, it, it, it's not the best paint in the world. Uh, you actually don't get a lot. I was actually very impressed with the yellow. I, you know, I didn't expect for it to be that bright after the yellow, after the red was so soft of a color. Um, and the paint, the picture ended up looking incredibly tie-dye. And the brush, I did not like the brush at all. I had so many problems with it. It was a very soft brush. Uh, but I just, it was not the best of brushes, and I did, as you can see here, I did just go ahead and start using my own, uh, which again, not the best of brushes, but it worked a lot better than the other one. Um, but the designs in the book itself were very, you know, very adorable, so I do recommend that if you have a little one who likes My Little Pony or Disney Princesses, because there was a Disney Princess one, go ahead and, you know, get it for them, let them enjoy it. Uh, I do recommend that you buy a little tiny, like, I got this at Dollar Tree for a dollar, so if you get this, I recommend that you buy a little, um, a little paint set to go with it. I've seen Mickey Mouse ones there better probably a lot better than this. I will be testing it out eventually, so we'll see. Um, but as you can tell, I'm already on the green, and so far the colors are not really covering the page. Um, there just, there really wasn't that much paint in the thing, and I could tell, and it also didn't color the water at all, which I was very, very surprised about. Like, I'm not complaining, I'm just surprised, you know? <laughs> um, but another problem that I kept running into was the paint. Whenever, you know, you would get one area wet, so that you could pick up the paint, it would spread to the next. And this, okay, this is where I'm going to switch. And that is the paint that I'm going to be using. I was showing what... I had used it on before, this is what the little thing comes in, and I got this at Dollar Journal for a dollar. And right here I am just really quickly cutting off the bottom where the paints are because I didn't want to get that messed up. And I decided to color the, or to paint the sunshine on my mind one with Fluttershy because I loved it. And I actually really like how it turned out, I think it turned out really cute. And just, you know, it, it did take me a really long time to paint this, though, because, like, okay, if you buy your kid this book with 12 designs, and then you get them a separate paint thing, even if you just get them a book, um, it will occupy their time, because there's 12 things, and this took me 40 minutes to record. 40 minutes. And that's with doing two things. The only thing that I would have to say is that with the child, they would probably paint very fast, very much faster than I did because I wanted to make it in the lines. And I didn't want it to, you know, get anywhere else. It does, though, because I'm not the best with that brush that I'm using. I don't know why I used it. But... <clears throat> Uh, I ran into a lot of problems with the paint that they had with them. They didn't have a pink for Pinkie Pie. The red was like a pink, but it wasn't, you know, it's not pink. You know, that's the problem I had. 
but the paint set that I had, it did have a pink. So I could use, you know, Fluttershy's pink hair. I had a green that I used for her eyes. It wasn't exactly correct because her eyes are like a teal, but it was close enough that it really doesn't bother me. Plus the way it dries, you know, it just, it looked really good. And yes, as you will see, I decided to do, uh, paint this thing with, um, I decided to paint it rainbow because I was a kid, you know, rainbow was my favorite color. And I just thought it would, you know, really make the thing pop because for try, she's only like two main colors and I thought it would look good. But the set that I had, that I had bought separately, it actually went a lot better with the uh, with the drawing and the paper. It actually reacted very well with the paper because it was it's cake paint. It's not watercolor. It's not, you know, whatever was on that paper. I'm not really sure. It doesn't say what, what that paint is on the paper. It just says you have to be four years and up in order to use it. Um, but I do recommend that you guys, you know, buy this for your kid for maybe Christmas or a birthday or whatever. But as I said, you know, I recommend that you also buy maybe a little uh, paint thing to go with it. That way they don't, um, that way they don't get upset and they can't paint their favorite character a certain color or whatever. I did, it, it might help. It might help. I don't really know. <laughs> if it is just something that they want, then I guess you could just buy the regular stuff. Um, but yeah, that's what I ended up making. And as you can see here, I'm comparing the two and you can just, you can tell there's a difference between the colors. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I have a video coming out on Thursday, so subscribe today so you can watch it, and bye!